Laser sights enhance and maintain your accuracy in a time of crisis, preventing tunnel vision and allowing quick target acquisition in awkward shooting positions. Crimson Trace, making laser sight standard equipment. Learn more at crimsontrace.com. Today on Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, Tom's live from the FN booth at the NRA annual meetings. Hear about the newest and hottest products from FN, Aguila Ammunition, Double Star, and Surefire. Plus, competitive shooter and new NRA board member Julie Gollum, USA Shooting World Champions, and more. Now, here's Tom Gresham. All right, it is Gun Talk. I'm Tom Gresham. Welcome to the show. We're at uh, the NRA's annual meetings in Dallas, Texas, and we're in the FN booth surrounded by lots of cool people and a whole bunch of very cool guns. Having a ball with, I don't know, 60, 70, 80,000 of our closest friends, and the FN booth is rocking. Uh, somebody was asking me, he says, now on the scar, is there a holster for that? I said, oh, no, it's pocket carry. It's okay. And I said, uh, Lou Ferrigno was walking by. I said, he could pull it off. He could do that. So we're visiting right now. We've got Tom Victor and we've got Scott Folk here showing off a couple of very cool pistols from FN and from Friends. Fair enough, Tom? Sounds great. Okay. All right, Tom, why don't you start off telling me about what you got there? So, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but we launched the FN 509, so that's our striker fire duty weapon and evolution of our MHS gun at NRA last year. Yeah, awesome pistol, and it feels great, shoots fabulous. Absolutely. As soon as people pick it up, they really just want to go out and shoot it's it. It's funny. That's exactly what I tell them. I said, just pick it up. I don't have to tell you anything. Just pick it up, right? All right. So it's been a year. And this year, we won the Golden Bullseye Award for Pistol of the Year. So, Congrats. Yep. That's and, very cool. And uh, it's it, the, the 509 pistol has been very exciting for us. And in the last year, we've been working with a lot of our aftermarket partners to develop accessories. Because a lot of people like to customize their guns in different, right. different ways. So what we have right here is an Agency Arms customized 509. So you buy your 509, and you can mail it off to them, and you see or hear about the custom stippling. <laughs> I, mean, I can see it. They can't, but look, well, so let's tell them what it is. We've got custom uh, so stippling you, in there. So you have custom stippling, and then uh, they mill most of their slides for optics mount. So the... The red dot sights are becoming a very large growing trend lately. It really in all different kinds of shooting. I mean, everything from, you know, competition, but uh, self-defense, even concealed carry people are using red dots now. Exactly, exactly. I see it as a, a, as a huge growing trend, and I'm just preparing myself for one day when I can't see very well. So. Well, welcome to the party. You'll get there before you know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I think about it all the time. <laughs> Uh, but then they also offer uh, these custom slide serrations and uh, lightning lightning options for people that want to shoot more uh, uh, lighter ammo. It helps the slide track a little bit. Oh, better. okay, sure, right, a little bit less resistance. Yep, mm -hmm. a little bit more functionality when you're shooting lighter loads. Yes, absolutely. all right, got it. All right, very cool. So you, when you have your 509, then you send it off. And it comes back, you can basically order whatever you want, I guess. Exactly. It, it's, it's like a menu, and you just check whatever boxes you'd like so, to customize. So you don't have to gun. pick up a screwdriver or a Dremel tool or a soldering iron or all the stuff that people do. Just a credit card number. That's <laughs> it. Pick up the credit card. All right, uh, Scott, you're looking at, you got something in front of you there that is just uber cool. What do you have? Well, I've got our Apex uh, custom build uh, 509 we did a few months ago in conjunction with a couple of our aftermarket partners. Uh, we were working with uh, SSVI to do custom grip stippling, uh, similar to what the other gun has. Right. Uh, we had this whole gun Cerakoted, uh, a, uh, I think he called it a platinum silver or something. I can't remember the exact color. It almost looks like pewter. It's, yeah. It's very cool looking. Something along that yeah. line. I, I love the look of it, actually. Yeah. It's uh, done by DP Custom. Uh, we got a light from Enforce on here, so nice uh, compact ultra bright light, right? Uh, which is awesome. Uh, Springer Precision Magazine in a base. In this case, um, great magazine looks really nice. Right. This one's a uh, blue anodized. He offers different colors too. Oh yeah, uh, and, and it got. And you also have the blue in the serration, the slide serrations. Yeah, that's actually um, that's because this gun is a thin blue line series gun. Uh, oh. What that means for us is uh, we're doing donations with uh, an organization called the Concerns of Police Survivors or COPS. Okay. And what we do is uh, every trigger we manufacture that has one of these blue safeties in it is oh, a okay. thin blue line series trigger. Okay. Uh, so we give a we donate 25 percent of the retail value of that trigger sale to the cops organization. No kidding. Uh, and to date, we've given them over 110 thousand dollars donations in just over a year. So now this package is not one you send your gun off. This is where you get the parts 
and you do the work yourself? Uh, not necessarily. So okay. in, in this case, uh, what the part the part I haven't actually covered in this gun yet is our, the Apex trigger. Uh, so we offer we're going to be offering soon a flat face trigger with a proprietary trigger bar. That that's is, this one I'm looking at here. That's correct. Okay. Uh, with a with a proprietary trigger bar that's patent pending, as well as a sear uh, performance sear that we came up with. Uh, so those parts paired together, you can you'll be able to buy once they're released and as a do-it-yourself drop-in kit. All right. I know one of the challenges of, of triggers, tr- selling triggers is trying to describe to people what a trigger does. Yes. If you could put it in their hands, they got it. Right. But this is radio. So describe what they're going to get out of this trigger. Uh, what they're going to get is a uh, shorter overall trigger stroke, so less distance of pull to fire the gun. Right. Uh, they'll get a trigger pull of about five to five and a half pounds in most cases, which we consider to be duty or carry rated if okay. you decided you wanted to do so with it. Um, but what you also have is you have a solid body aluminum machine trigger with a center-mounted pivoting safety as opposed to a hinging safety trigger like you have on the factory gun. Okay. So it's just a, a bit of a difference for what people like a, a personal ergonomics-wise. D- different feel? Yeah, different feel. Okay. Exactly. So it's, uh, like, it's like it's not one's bad, one's good. It's just you get to pick the one that you like the feel of. Absolutely. That's okay. the idea. All right. That works. And besides, it looks really cool. Yeah, that's I mean, the best part. I mean, it, it really good. does. Honestly, when you have that rig like that, even when you have that trigger with the blue on it, when it comes out of the holster, you put it on a table or something, people are going to go, what is that? Absolutely. We well, get a lot of that. Well, that's a reason right there to buy it. <laughs> exactly. So the way to get one of these done up, uh, you have a few different options. You could find a, a custom house like um, like DP Custom or somebody who does that kind of thing. You could send the gun to them. They could stipple it. They could send it off to their favorite Cerakoter to get Cerakoted. Uh, and one of those might be able to put the trigger in. If you want to do it all yourself, you could send the frame off to be stippled, get it back, send it off for Cerakote, get it back, right. put the trigger in. So there's a lot of options. But the nice thing is the system lends itself to be customized very easily. Tom, by people who are you're just staring at that thing like you just really want to pick it up. Well, I, I really want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Of course. We all do. You know, there's something about good-looking guns that feel good. You just think, yeah, no, I don't have enough guns yet. <laughs> And I don't know what that number is, but it's always at least one more than I have, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, so, I mean, that, that works for me. So, all right, what's, uh, what's a trigger like that cost? Uh, that trigger will retail for right about 150 when it's released. Okay, and that is user installable? You just Yes, uh, we just finished the install video a couple weeks ago. I walked through step-by-step install- de- disassembly and reinstallation of the whole kit, including fully tearing down the, uh, the sear housing assembly. Which is quite a challenge, but we got really good video this time. We got really good lighting on it, very clear, concise instructions. So, it's well, that's good because I would need something like that if I were going to tackle that thing. I can tell you, but it's a gorgeous looking pistol. And of course, the five hundred nine starts off as a, an excellent pistol out of the box. And Tom, this is something I want you to address. One of the things I like about it is out of the box, it doesn't really need breaking in. It just starts running. And and that's what that's what our goal was. So. Uh, people that know FN know us as a very much a military duty grade style weapon. Right. And the 509 gives you that, so you can open it up out of the box, and you're ready to issue it to a police officer, or you can trust it for self defense. Because honestly, the number one thing, forget everything else. The number one thing is reliability at that point. Absolutely. Because absolutely. I mean, you're betting your life on it. That's, you, you need to make sure it goes back. It, it's, it, I call it, it's our personal parachute. <laughs> it has to work the first time, every time. You don't yeah. get too many tries of jumping out of a No, plane. you really don't. Exactly. I love it. People say, well, you know, I, c- I could get a 509, but, you know, I can get another gun cheaper. I say, yeah, you can. So you're the guy that says, give me the cheap parachute. Says, Nobody ever said that. And they, it's like they go, yeah, okay, I get that. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. <laughs> I'm with you now. Well, it's very cool stuff. I appreciate it. So uh, for the information on this, where do they go for this, Tom? So if they want to learn more about the gun, the best place to go is fnamerica.com. Okay. And uh, if you want to learn about this customized pistol, uh, you would visit Agency Arms. Agency Arms? Yes, sir. Okay. And then, Scott, obviously Apex Tactical? Yeah, apextactical.com to see the information on the on the uh, trigger system and all that kind of stuff, as right. well as um, we'll add some information about these pistols on our blog. Oh, that would be cool as well. if, you, if you could add some of that on there. That yeah. People could see what we're talking about. Yeah, we've got photos. We did a twin build for this gun. We, uh, one is in our booth and one is in the FN booth. Nice. Uh, so people are coming nice. by going, oh, that's really cool. I'm like, yeah, go see its twin brother. <laughs> That'll work. Thank you, guys. Those are beautiful pistols. I appreciate you showing them to everybody here. Just hold them up close to the microphone. Everybody can see oh, yeah. them, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys see that? Good. That'll work. Good. Good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. Don't go far. We'll be coming back in just a minute from the FM booth at the NRA annual meeting in Dallas, Texas. I'm Tom Gresham. This is Gun Talk.
must buy a black pickup truck. Oh, come on. How about something a little easier? Okay. I spy error-free forms, fast ATF processing, a 90-day money-back guarantee, and the largest inventory in the industry. Hmm. I spy powered by. That's right. With over 300 powered by silencer shop retailers nationwide, there's always one close by. Is that easy enough for you? Ha! <laughs> Almost too easy. Demand powered by. Shop our industry-leading inventory at silencershop.com. Hi, this is Tom Gresham from Gun Talk. America is losing critical wildlife habitat at a rate of one football field every hour. It's happening on the Louisiana coast, but it's critical to all sportsmen and conservationists. These precious wetlands provide winter habitat for more than 10 million ducks and geese annually. Waterfowl that migrate north through dozens of states. Don't shrug it off. Get involved. You can help. Visit vanishingparadise.org. It's really pretty simple. Your carry gun is a life-saving device. It must be with you. That's what the Springfield Armory XDS is all about. Small enough to carry, big enough to shoot comfortably, shockingly slim, single stack, with a 3.3-inch or 4-inch barrel, available in 9, 40, or 45. Highly accurate, great trigger, Fiber optic front sight for fast aimed fire. The XDS at Springfield Armory.com. That's Springfield Armory.com. If you carry a gun, you need training. Your concealed carry class was definitely not training. But time, money, and obligations keep you from spending days at a shooting school. The trusted folks at Gun Talk can help. Concealed Carry One, our DVD featuring the Vata Group, covers what gun, what holster, how to carry, where to wear your gun, and much more. Visit ShopGunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. Look, this really is life and death. Learn how to stay aware, how to get away, and how to fight if you must. At ShopGunTalk.com, you can get the two DVD set, including Fighting with the 1911 with Tiger McKee. No matter what gun you carry, this vital training info can save your life. Learn the draw, the stance, reload it. Vital gear from Gun Talk. That's ShopGunTalk.com. ShopGunTalk.com. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's wheretoshoot.org. Back with you, Tom Gresham. It's Gun Talk, and we are in the FN booth at uh, the NRA's annual meetings. It is live. We are actually doing this right now. You'll actually hear a show next week. We did yesterday in our time-shifting sort of way. Um, joined right now by uh, Christy Hearing from Aguila Ammunition Hiring. 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 I got it. I got it. I, got it. I knew I was going to screw it up. Don't look at it. Just say it, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay. We just got married, so I'm used to your old, your old, your old name. Okay. Uh, so I was telling people on the show yesterday, which I'll hear next week, but I I was just telling somebody else, and one of the things I wanted to mention, I was talking to a, a lady here a little while ago. I wanted to bounce this off you. I was just talking about the atmosphere at the NRA, and it's hard to convey to people what's going on. She said, well, let me tell you. She says, I've been here three days. She said, I've not, I've not opened a door for myself yet. <laughs> Very good point. She said, mm-hmm. she says, kids come up to us, and they don't just grab things off the table. They'd say, may I take that? And you're going, that's different. And I, I mentioned it a lot to people. Not a single piece of trash anywhere you look. You're exactly right. And same thing. We've had kids come up. May I have a sticker? Of course you may have a sticker. And yeah. everyone is asked politely to take Isn't it anything. Crazy? I mean, mm-hmm. they don't so just nice. watch it and grab something. And run. You don't have kids running around. And a lot of kids here. A lot oh, of kids. A ton here. of kids. You know, and they're well behaved and they're mm-hmm. well spoken and they're polite. And you're going, yes. I mean, <laughs> you know what's sad about that is we have to actually mention it. You right. Know, it's but like, it's good to know we've got a some good future generations. Yes, we do. Well, speaking of that, it's one of the things that you guys have been doing. You've got the uh, Agla Cup coming up. You're looking for new shooters in there, and I know you do youth shooting programs as well. First, let's just start off with the Cup. What is it? 
Aguila Cup, this will be the first event in the United States we've held. It will be here in Texas in Decatur. Because it's been held, I mean, in a lot of places. Exactly. We've held it in Mexico the past three years in Acapulco and Guadalajara. And right. now it's time to bring it to the States. Okay. So here in Texas, um, an hour and a half to Dallas, and it will be at Fossil Point Sporting Grounds. It's going to be Sporting Clays, Three Gun, and Rimfire. Oh, okay. We've got some great sponsors on board. Um, CZ is the main event sponsor. Um, we have uh, Lucas Oil taking over the three gun for us with strategic match design. Okay. Uh, we have Tandem Cross involved with the Rim Fire. And then we have NRA uh, supporting us, and we have National Shooting Sports Foundation. They're bringing on their first shots program. Wow. Um, so we'll be. This is a big event. It is. It's going to be a huge event, and we're going to be introducing new shooters to handgun, rifle, and shotgun while we're there. So what are the dates? June 14th through the 17th. So it's not too late to sign up. Not too late to sign up. You can go to shootagulacup.com. We're going to be giving away 65000 in cash. What? Uh, we're going to be giving away um, all kinds of prizes to new shooters in the Hunter Class Division. We're going to have a Wade Bowen concert on that Saturday night for all registered shooters and a big Texas barbecue. This is not your average neighborhood shoot. This is a this is a no. world class event. Exactly. Yeah. Holy cow! So for for all those new shooters, they don't need to feel discouraged. Yes, we're going to have professionals there, but right. we want to show new shooters what the shooting sports are all about. This is a family friendly event. It is Father's Day weekend, so we want the whole family to spend That's it neat. with with dad and mom and all right. the kids shooting. So they can come in, they can shoot shotguns, they can shoot rifles, they can shoot pistols. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is there a provision, and I, I don't know, if someone says, I want to try shooting, but I haven't done it before, is this a place where somebody could come if they really don't know anything about shooting? Absolutely. Uh, through the First Shots program, uh, we'll have shotgun, handgun, and rifle instruction. We're going to do a three-gun instructional on that Thursday and Friday before the three-gun nice. competition starts. So nobody needs to feel intimidated. We're okay. going to be so, there to help. So if you've got a shooter in the family, but you have other people who are not shooters, come anyway. Come anyway. We're going to have a fun uh, chill zone for the family. They can play all kinds of games, sit and relax. We've got a huge vendor area. And then, again, the, the concert on Saturday night for the whole like family. It's going to be fantastic. Like we're got, we're got, super excited. You've got, event, you got events all over the place with this thing. We do. It's gaining a lot of momentum, and uh, we think we'll have a big turnout from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, and then we'll, We've got people coming in from all over the country. We'll have all the Aguilar Pro Shooters there. Some of the Lucas Oil shooting team is going to be there. Um, a, a great time for people to see some pro shooters and to get instruction from some of the pro shooters. Really? So they get yeah. instruction from the pros? So we're going to be offering the opportunity, uh, giving away a trip where you can be trained with all of our shooters. Uh, Mark Reddle, Chris and Michelle Serino, um, Derek Mine, who's reigning national champion. Yeah, he, he, uh, he, world. He, you he just, just spoke with him. So, uh, yeah. He's... He's Superman. Yeah, he's incredible. He's just he's on fire a, a, right now. A machine. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you win an event where you shoot seven different events in shotgun and you win it by ten targets, it's unheard Huge. of. Huge. You know, Huge. It's just and and he makes it look so easy. Nicest guy ever. You know, that's so, the other part of it. You know. Exactly. So down to earth and a good family guy. And yeah. Loves just, to teach new shooters. I mean, that's world class. Being able to do that. All right. So the World Cup, uh, the, the Agla Cup. Uh, is going to be in July? June. June. June 14th through 17th. Okay, so about six weeks from now. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming right up. up. It's coming right up. All right, so tell us about Aguila, because I know you guys have been moving some production into the U.S. We have. So we're wrapping up um, all the construction on our new facility in Conroe. So that should be up and running Just about the next Houston. 30 to 60 days. Right, about 35 miles from downtown. So you'll see some centerfire hollow point production out of there, as well as some new mini shell production out of Conroe. So I know a lot of people will be excited oh. to hear we're increasing production capacity on the mini shell. And we shouldn't assume that people know what the mini shell is. I mean, I know you tell people all the time, and we you know, we think everybody knows, but they don't. It's this little bitty, how, sh how long is this thing? Inch and three quarters. An inch and three quarters, okay. Yeah. Uh, little shotgun shell, 12 gauge. And... It will work, obviously, at any fix, fixed breach. It will work in pretty much most pumps. Most pumps. Some you may have to have the Opsol adapter right. um, that you can find on the Opsol website. Okay. And then you put that in there and it yeah. feeds flawlessly. And, and generally, it doesn't run most uh, semis because there's just not enough right. power there. No. no. Right. Yeah, we're not going to recommend it in a, a semi-auto. Okay. But we do have it in 7.5 lead um, slug and buckshot. And you can get a lot of them in an extended mag. You, uh, <laughs> yes. In, uh, yeah, you can get up to 41 in, uh, in what? the KSG 25. Really? Mm -hmm. 41 shotgun shells? 41. 
Holy it's cow. crazy. You, and you, you need two boxes of shotgun shells or more right. than that. So I mean, for home defense, it's great. But also in the seven and a half, it's a great way to introduce new shooters. Right. Um, that are, almost, don't want the recoil of the 12 no gauge. Almost no recoil at all. Mm-hmm. So you can give them a 12 gauge gun, but you have, I would say the recoil is probably in the 28 gauge level. Oh, yeah. Something mm-hmm. like that. And super quiet. Yeah. Um, that's it's a good point. Fantastic. Too. But the other part is, and the more important part is, people want to start kids out with 410 which is really not a good idea because it's such an inefficient uh, gauge. It's hard to break targets and bring down birds. This has, it's ballistically, the shorter the shot column, the more efficient it is ballistically. And so it really works well at breaking targets and bringing it, and you can hunt with it. Oh, yeah, I think people are really surprised when they see how hard those targets break with the mini shell. Yeah. Um, you're easily going to break targets at 40 yards. Some people can say, go out to 50 we, and we 60 stretch, yards. We were and... stretching out there. Right. See. I mean, at a certain point, you run out of BBs. You know? I mean, the pellets exactly. are so spread out. I mean, that's just the way but it they is. But they do. They break targets, and they break them hard, and, uh, yeah, and people use them hunting and successful. And then, of course, uh, with buckshot and slug, it is a real no kidding home defense personal mm-hmm. defense rig too. Oh, very, definitely, very cool. by far. So, people start seeing them on store shelves a lot more because we okay. are working hard to meet demand. And of course, you got the whole line of shotgun shells. You guys make shotgun shells for everything, practically. And then twenty twos. You have some of the more interesting twenty two ammo I've ever seen. You know, from super subsonic. If you is that, is that such a thing? But I mean, really, really right. quiet. Yeah, with our Calibri and Super Calibri, the Calibri is a completely powderless round primer only, and the Super Calibri has some powder in it but runs mostly on uh, primer. And then we have our sniper subsonic. 60-grain bullet. Mm-hmm. A 60-grain bullet out of a twenty two. So it is super quiet. It's subsonic, but it has enough mass in there to actually hit with some authority. Oh, it does, yeah. We can, uh, I know, personally, I've taken out prairie dog hunting in Montana. Oh, yeah? and it, it does the job. I would imagine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... How's the distribution going? Can people find Aguila Ammo pretty much now? Yeah, so we have a wide range of distributors that we're working with. We're, so dealers are buying from the distributors. You can find us in Academy, Cabela's, uh, Brownells.com, Midway, USA. Okay. And we're widely available. Okay, so you look for Aguila. And, yes, I know, everyone wants to say Aguila or different kind of ways to yeah. say it, but it's Aguila. Aguila. Okay. Yes, Aguila, Aguila. Eagle. A-G-U-I-L-A. That means Eagle in Spanish? Eagle in Spanish. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Man, my Spanish teacher would be so mad at me from high school. <laughs> you learned something new today. <laughs> That's right. Well, it's been a while since I was in high school. Though. There you go. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, eagle. We'll call this our eagle ammunition. Very cool. That is just terrific. Uh, Aguila Ammo. It's aguilaammo.com. A g u i l a ammo.com. You can see all the information there. And can, mm-hmm. they can go from there and then sign up for the cup. Yes. Um, if you go to AguilaAmmo.com, there's a link there that will take you to the cup website, or you can go directly to shootagulacup.com. That'll work. Appreciate it. Christy, thanks so much. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Always love talking with you, Tom. Alrighty. Thank you. Welcome back to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk, live from the FN booth at the NRA Show. All right, back with you. You know, uh, a lot of people are concerned with their security. I, I get a lot of talk about that. Well, imagine this is you. You're working late and bam, you get an alert on your smartphone, your motion-activated Blink security system. Picked up something at home. You pop open your Blink app and you see a silhouette of a man peering through your kitchen window. You dial 911 and the police roll. Look. Preventing situations like this is why Blink has sold over a million motion-activated security cameras. The point of having a security system is to help alert you before some guy gets into your house, not after. That's why I chose Blink. Real simple. Uh, Blink cams are wire-free. They set up in minutes. They run on batteries that last, I don't know, seems like for years. And the live feed option lets you monitor your home from anywhere. Just turn it on. You don't have to wait for an alert. Uh, look, these guys are important, uh, and you guys are important. So I wanted to put you all together. So here's the deal. I got you a cool discount. You still get the three Blink cameras for what the other guys charge for one. And I got you an extra 15% off. Just go to BlinkProtect.com slash gun talk. That's BlinkProtect.com slash gun talk. All right. We are at the NRA annual meetings in Dallas, Texas. I'm Tom Gresham. It is gun talk. We're having a ball. We're, uh, we're really having some fun here. I'm looking around. Got the FN scar back behind me. You got a lot of rifles. You got a bunch of cool pistols. It's funny. I had a... Uh, a listener come up to me a minute ago. He says, hey, I want to give you a range report. Really? Okay. He says, yeah, I just bought a, a 1911. All right. He says, yeah, the store was going out of business. I got a good deal on it. And uh, I said, did you bought this thing? I said, yeah, cool. He's, he's showing me pictures of it. I said, what do you think? He said, well, 
I was at the range with it. It's his first 1911. Never had 1911 before. I'm at the range, and there's like six lanes, and we're all shooting. And I realized that the guys next to me have all stopped shooting, and they're watching. It's just because we've got these like three-inch uh, shoot-and-see dots on the target, and I'm putting all my shots into this three-inch circle. He said, and we're like, I think he said they were at five yards. So we ran it back to seven yards and ran it back to ten yards, and I'm still putting all the shots in there. He says, I love this thing. I said, yeah, well, welcome to the fraternity of the 1911. And I said, you do understand what's going on here. This is, this is all about the trigger. I mean, yes, it's accurate, but most pistols are pretty accurate. The difference is you can shoot it well. And when you get a, a pistol with a good trigger or a rifle with a good trigger, it's a game changer. It's pretty hard to go back. As we were talking with the guys from Apex Tactical a minute ago, and they make good triggers. Obviously, too many triggers guys make good triggers. Um, when you and, and factory guns generally don't come with really bad triggers, but they got to make a lot of them. And the aftermarket, or even you know, if you go old school like I've done a million times, it seems like have a gunsmith uh, trick it up and take care of the trigger for you. Once you do that, you just, you're ruined. You, you can't go back to a bad trigger. You just, it's amazing. But it was just, uh, I was enjoying the enthusiasm of somebody who had just bought his first 1911. And it's kind of like, oh, now I see what you guys have been talking about. Just a hoot and a half. A lot of things going on around here. Obviously, uh, at the NRA annual meetings, as you might expect, we have protesters. Tens of, no, actually, no, there were not tens of thousands. There were thousands, no, no, there were uh, no. I think there were fifty, <laughs> fifty protesters. Um, now, I loved the way the news reported because there were so few of them. They had to report it this way because I went through and looked at several different websites for the local news. They said hundreds of people turned out to protest for and against gun rights. Really. So if you're not really paying attention, you think there were hundreds of people protesting at the NRA. Actually, there were more people in support of gun rights than there were against gun rights. But, of course, the media is saying, oh, hundreds of people turned out. Yes, we did, didn't we? <laughs> it's the same old, same old. It's just, you know. Now, there is a truck. It's just interesting. This is the whole Bloomberg money deal, right? This is the Everytown deal. Oh, 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 by the way, I made the list. I made the cool list. Uh, Shannon Watts at uh, Every Town for Gun Safety has blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's a good thing. I think, and I don't think I've ever said anything about her or to her or even posted anything on her site. I think she just somebody at their organization figured out uh, that I was following them, and they blocked me. That's okay. We we still know what they're up to. We see their lies. I, I get their emails. It's it's and oh, one of the things they've been saying this week is. At the NRA, they continue their dangerous agenda of guns everywhere. That's one of their phrases now. The NRA wants guns everywhere. Well, no, actually not. And if you actually came here and talked to people, you would know that. But it's much easier to raise money and get volunteers if you just badmouth them from afar. You know, if you came here, you'd find people who are polite, cordial, helpful, friendly, uh... You know, kids who have manners, uh, people who don't throw junk on the floor, uh, people who hold the doors open for each other, who say, excuse me, may I help you? Here, let me get that for you. It's not exactly as uh, the media and the gun ban industry. By the way, it is that. It is a gun ban industry. Make no mistake. That's what they are. That's what they are all about. So not exactly what they are telling people. Simple as that. It is, um, it's interesting. Oh, yeah, I mentioned the truck. There's a truck running around, a big panel truck uh, with a sign on it. It's got a picture of Wayne LaPierre and uh, Vladimir Putin. And they're trying to link the NRA with Russia and Putin. I guess everything on the left is now about smearing anybody on the right with Russia. I am somehow reminded of a sitcom, and I keep hearing it in my head, Russia, Russia, Russia. You know what I'm talking about. It's silly, and I, I, I guess it gins up their group. It makes no difference to anybody, and it's just kind of laughable on, on one level. But that is about the only protest thing I've been seeing going on. I mean, they had like, I don't know, a few, a few dozen maybe. 
protesters, and they were at different sites. They were kind of scattered out. Uh, and then a lot of our guys, I actually saw some people yesterday uh, say, all right, everybody, here's the line. We're going to walk two blocks down here where this other protest is going on. The police kept them apart, and everything worked fine. There were no incidents that I am aware of, not that there would be, uh, but it just worked out. But, again, loving the media coverage of linking the two together so they could somehow try to inflate the numbers of the protesters. All right, tell you what, take a quick break here. When we come back, we'll be uh, having more news about some cool guns and everything else right here at the NRA's annual meetings. We are in the FN booth in Dallas, Texas. I'm Tom Gresham. This is Gun Talk. someone leaves you their gun collection, you may want a few, but what do you do with the rest? How do you sell them? Who do you call? Well, I call Johnny Dury at Dury's Guns. Whether you're selling one gun or 500, they'll tell you what it's worth and write you a check. Simple, quick, easy, fair. I trust Dury's Guns. Give them a call. Dury'sGuns.com. All the refinements in Smith & Wesson's M&P M2.0 Pistol Series shrunk to a perfect carry size in the new compact version. 4-inch barrel, light crisp M2.0 trigger, aggressively textured grip for enhanced control, four interchangeable palm swell inserts, two magazines, lifetime service policy, 15-round 9mm mag, 13-round 40 mag, the M&P M2.0 Compact Pistol. More at smith-wesson.com. This land, once wild and free, fades now from our memory. But I remember what it was like, what we were like, what we are capable of when we band together. Perhaps more than any other landscape, wetlands embody the life-giving abundance that nature has to offer. And perhaps more than any other organization, Ducks Unlimited is working to ensure that our continent's wetlands not only survive, but thrive for generations well beyond this one. These natural wonders are where waterfowl begin their cycle of life, where the deer and the antelope play, and where we, the people, gather together to see and share what makes the outdoors so great. The time is now to band together with organizations like Ducks Unlimited. The time is now to rescue our wetlands. Brownells has gone retro. Check out Brownells' new line of retro AR-15 and AR-style 308 rifles at brownells.com slash retro. Whether you're looking for Eugene Stoner's original 308 design, the famous M16A1, Air Force 601, or the XM-177 carbine, Brownells has the classic, new production, old-school rifle of your dreams. On the firearm you used in basic training, carried in service, or that Grandpa always talks about. See more at brownells.com slash retro. Laser sights offer an immediate advantage when visibility is poor and seconds count. Laser sights can de-escalate a deadly encounter by engaging the target with a laser, enhancing your ability to protect your family, home, and country. Call 800-442-2406 or visit crimsontrace.com for a free copy of our laser training video, The Laser's Edge, and learn why Crimson Trace is making laser sights standard equipment. Welcome back to Gun Talk. Tom Gresham here, here at the FN booth, having a ball. Actually, everybody's, they're having more fun than I am because they're getting to pick up the guns and play with them and talk about them. I'm over talking on the radio. That's okay. I get to handle the guns occasionally now and then, too. <laughs> it's a fun deal. Uh, yeah, FN, of course, if you, uh, yeah, you know, somebody's handing me a gun right now. Thank you. I like the pistol, by the way, the AR pistol. Very cool. New, right? New this year? New in January. Okay, Effin's got uh, an AR pistol, which is really slick. Um, I was kind of, I admit, I was slow coming to the AR pistol idea. Uh, it's one of those, I didn't get it. Well, honestly, when you got the arm brace on, a.k.a. It's a stock. Don't tell anybody it's a stock. Okay, we're not supposed to say that. Uh, get in here. Uh, so at that point, you know, you say, okay, AR pistols start to make sense and then you start playing with them, and the more you shoot them, the more fun they are and everything else. So, uh, you know, I get it now, okay? I, I didn't get it at first. I admit I was not the guy that 
figured it out. Everybody else was ahead of me. But I catch up occasionally. Uh, in fact, we're joined right now by a guy that knows all about the air pistols, Nick Collier from Double Star. Hey, how you doing, partner? Hey, Tom. Good to see you. Sorry, Mike. Good to see you. No, that's all right. You're good. You're good. Uh, I just talked about the AR-15 pistols, and you guys got your new one. Yep, that's right. The new one dropped today, or well, at the show. So the ARP-7. ARP-7. What's, what's P-7 mean? It's a pistol, AR pistol, 7 inches. Oh, okay. 7-inch barrel. 7-inch barrel. Okay. What kind of velocity do you get out of that? Um, it's in the 15, 1800. 2200. With, with the blackout or with a, a with two, two, uh, five, 223. Okay. Or, yeah, it's 556. Five, 556, five, 223, whatever. Right. right. I don't yeah, know, in know, there. Something 2200. Like that. Just depends on how hard you're pulling the trigger, right? Right. That's it. <laughs> you can kind of poke the gun and then That's right. Do, do the do Western deal. Like, flip it out. That's right. The bullet goes faster. Exactly. That's right. But well, yeah, it's been uh, well received. The pistol brace that we have is aluminum, which is different than a lot of what's out there. Okay. Well, what are the, you know, there are a lot of different ones out there. Are you guys making your own we are. arm brace? We are. Yep. We've got an ATF approved right before SHOT Show, so we released it there. Right. Um, it is a full aluminum brace. There's no hinge. You know, the only other one out there kind of like it is the tail hook, but it has a hinge. Okay. Ours just slides over a regular pistol tube. Uh, it's got a Velcro can, can strap Can people on. buy that separately? Sure. Okay. So if they already have an AR pistol. Right. Uh, they want to put that on, they can do that. Right. Ours goes up to 1.2 inch diameter on the tube. Right. Um, it's two set screws that kind of clamp it on. So you've got a little bit of play, 1.12 to 1.2. Okay. Somewhere in there. Um, it's a little too small for like the CAC tube, the shockwave tubes, but uh, it, it works real well. Is there any particular challenge in going from making a full length AR to making an AR pistol that runs? Running wise, we haven't had any trouble at all. They just run, okay. Yeah, I, you know, a, a lot of people always say, "Well, it's a seven and a half inch barrel; it can't run." And we've never had any trouble with it. Really? Okay. Um, the ones that seem to give people trouble are the ones they mess around with. <laughs> you know, everybody <laughs> thinks they need a. a they they want to go put all these different stuff, right. parts, and everything in. They think they want to have a. You know, oh, I got to have an H buffer, an H two buffer, and they're, you know, spending forty, fifty, sixty bucks on these buffers they don't need. It's funny you say that, because I remember way back, uh, people were using shock buffers in their pistols, and the pistol makers were going, don't do that. Right. You don't need to do that. Yeah, it's it works not, just fine. It's not required. Yeah. And we put a little uh, O-ring on our extractors, because it does cycle faster. Okay. So we, we call it the enhanced extraction system, but it's basically a rubber O-ring <laughs> that goes around the extractor spring and the buffer pad. It sounds like cooler when you've got your right, enhanced right. extractor you make it system. sound good. Yeah, that's right. It's all marketing, right? That's right. And, uh, but you put that on there, it gives a little bite on the extractor. So after we did that, all feeding problems cease to exist. Interesting. Okay. So it's been, are you shipping it now? Is it out? It is available for purchase now. If you go give us a call, we can ship to your FFL. Um, we'll, we'll have plenty of dealers carrying it here before long. Uh, the website is star15.com. That's it. Star15.com. All right, tell them some background about Double Star, because I'm, I'm sure there are people that still don't know about you guys. Double Star, uh, it started off as j and Distributing. Okay. Jack and Teresa Starn started it, and it basically was, they started off selling reloading parts out of the back of a Dodge Dart in the late 70s. Yeah, you know, another one of these stories. It's right. either out of a garage, in this case, it's out of the back of a car. Yep. And okay. they put them in tackle boxes, and they went and took a, you know, bought a no. table at a gun show, and they'd go and they'd, they'd sell these parts. Well, then they got into AR-15 parts when the market was very, very small, and there wasn't a whole lot of options in the AR market. Right. And they started doing those, so the tables grew, and they would call back home, and their son Jesse, who is now the vice president, and his grandmother would box parts and <laughs> ship them out for orders that they took. Yeah. And then I started in 2002. Um, there was 10 people, including mm -hmm. me, right. and uh, we got that together, and basically it's grown from J&T Distributing into Double Star, which started off as all the serial numbered parts, Right. and then it became our manufacturing brand once we started doing, uh, you know, we got our own CNC machine. Right, and, and you're making complete guns. And now we're making a lot of parts. A lot of parts, and, yep. and guns, yep. and, and, you know, yep. everything. Tell you what, let's talk about, I'm going to take a quick break here, when we come back. I want to talk about kind of the parts, and there are still people who are a little bit new to ARs and may not understand the attraction of being able to do to make it your own gun. Right. I mean, that's kind of really what it is, isn't it? You're sure. making it your own Absolutely. gun. All right. And that's the appeal. All right. Hold on a second, Nick. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that. By the way, if you want to go take a look at it, uh, Double Star 
Corporation. Their website is star15. It's star15. Don't spell it out. Star15.com. All right, I'm Tom Gresham. We are at the FN booth at the NRA's annual meetings in Dallas, Texas, and we'll be right back. Back with you, Tom Gresham at the FN booth at the NRA annual meetings here, having a ball. We're talking with Nick Collier from Double Star Corporation. And Nick, we were talking about the whole idea of uh, the AR-15. AR- is It's a, a gun. It's a weapon system. It's a rifle. But it's really a collection of parts. It is. When you really look at it. Right. And that's the beauty of it. Because if you want to, I mean, we can have identical guns. Mm-hmm. Or you can have a 1,000 people who start with identical guns and end up with a thousand different guns. That's right. Fair enough? Yep. All right. Because why? Well, the AR-15 is built to a spec. Unlike okay. like the AR-10 and some of these other guns that people try to make match. Okay. Um, the AR-15 was built to the military spec, and everybody sticks to that spec. And it makes it very easy to make So you guys make parts, and they'll fit pretty much... Anybody, yeah. If, if it's a mil-spec gun, yep. it's, it's going to fit. Yep. And there's a lot of people that are doing, like, side-cocking ARs and things like that. They're a little different. Sure. They're a little but if you've got a regular, anomaly. If you've got a regular AR, right. the, you know, you can just pop parts off, put them on. And the thing is, even for a guy like me who doesn't really know how to run a screwdriver, right. you know, uh, even I can do some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. It's very easy to do. He says that looking at me like, yeah, dude, you you're, can not do gonna, it. you're not going to do this. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> the, the basement guys, I mean, we that's that's who pays well, our bills. You know? Well, and you guys do videos that teach us how to do it. Right. That's the other part of it. Yeah. Is, you well, know, yeah, you can do anything on YouTube. It's true. I mean, I mean there's you, so much out there. Whatever you need to learn how to do, it's on YouTube. Right. Man, you, you can figure it out. only thing I recommend is watch the video first. Because <laughs> if you start watching one and they just screw something up, a lot of times I've seen videos where they'll be like, well, I lost that spring, but I've got another one right here. Oh, you mean watch it through to the end. Right. So you're not following it and, and copying when right. they screw it up. Luckily, hey, I, luckily, I have this bin full of parts right here, and I'm just going to put another one Yeah, that's well, the right. the guy at home is trying to across the room. He's got one part, and he's trying to find it underneath the curtain back right. here against the wall. Right. Exactly right. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, I mean, they're, they're really easy to work on, really easy to change things. You don't need a whole lot of specialized tools. Uh, there's just a few that will help it, you know, help make it easier. But other than that, it is it's really easy just, to do. Just do it. Yeah. Exactly right. So what's the hottest uh, part or two or three parts you guys do right now? Right now, our pistol brace is really hot. Like I said, we've been selling us at SHOT Show, and we've run a couple thousand of them. Okay. So they're going hot. Uh, we just did the new pistol. It's got a new handguard on it. It's an M-Lock handguard. Um, those are pretty hot. And then the pistol itself. You know, right now the pistols are awesome because everybody wants a truck gun. And it's something real small you can throw in your car, yep. can throw in your truck, and you're ready yep. to go. I think I told you, I was talking with uh, Tiger McGee uh, recently, and, you know, one of the top trainers. And he said, yeah, he was kind of slow to come to it, but he started working with the AR pistols about four years ago. Huh. And, you know, figured out how to run them, what to do with them. And he carries one, and he actually pops it off, takes right. the, the upper off. So he said, I can get it into a little bitty backpack now. Oh, yeah. I mean, now you, I mean, and the truth of it is, look, if something's happening right now, you're going to go to your pistol. Sure. Uh, chances are, if you need that, you're going to have an extra 15, 20 seconds, which is really all it's going to take. Right. If you know what you're doing to pop the top on, you know, get the upper, lower, jack a mag in, you're good to go. Right. And you know, I always say the pistol just to get me back to my car. Well, <laughs> we, we, we always said the, the pistol is what you use to fight your way to the rifle. You shouldn't right. put it down anyway. That's right. right? That's right. <laughs> you know, exactly right. It's uh, it's, it's like uh, when I was up in Alaska, we, we, I always carried a... 44 Magnum for bears. He sure. said, well, I got a rifle. I said, yeah, here's what's going to happen. You're going to put it down while you're fishing, and you're going to walk away, and then you're going to hear this woof sound. Huh. You're going to look, and there's going to be a bear sitting on top of your rifle over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be a, a bad experience. That would be the bad thing, yeah. Yep. All right, so all right, so uh, Double Star Corporation, again, it's star15, star15.com. You could get the, the pistol brace. You can get complete firearms yep. from you guys. And edge weapons, too. And edge weapons, too. You got, got all the whole, knives. A whole, whole bunch of line, um, line of knives. So, and everything except the complete guns, you can get shipped to you if you want to. Right. But you can also have the, the gun shipped to your local FFL and work it that way. That's right. Nick, thank you so much. I Thanks appreciate it, man. Good to see you. Always, always fun. And uh, right. by the way, you're going to see uh, Nick on Guns and Gear TV. Uh, this season. That's right. We had a bunch of fun out there shooting stuff. That was great. Yeah, we did. Exactly right. All right, don't go far. We're at the uh, FN booth uh, at the NRA's annual meetings in Dallas, Texas. Having a ball. 
Uh, We'll have more news of what's going on here when we come back. 